Hello and welcome back to our deep dive into membership sites. Again, my name is Dan Havey. I'm with CF Ninja Hacks. And today we're going to continue the conversation we began, I think it was in the last episode, where we were talking about all the different things you can do regarding the what I'm really beginning to call the menu inside of the membership site. As I mentioned last time, you don't have to show the members nav that comes straight out of the box with click funnels and i'm going to go through probably at least a dozen different ways today that you can take the content you're going to still load the content up the way you normally would like i have with these lessons here but i'm going to show you a whole bunch of ways that you can set up the menu inside of the membership site so that it frankly doesn't look like a membership site so let me show you the uh, page itself, and I want to show this to you so that you can see that, yeah, this is actually for real a membership site, because once we get to the inside, you may not believe some of the stuff that is possible inside of ClickFunnels when it comes to setting up the menus. So here is a site I built as an example just to really, it was kind of a challenge to myself to see how many different ways I could display the content inside of a membership site. We can start off with simple little things like a mundane little menu like this. If you only had five, six, maybe 10 items you just wanted to lay out, you could just create a little menu and, and just step through and you can see here's the content area and that just changes as we, as we go through. Now you're going to notice I only set up just a few few lessons and I just keep repeating them here. Obviously you can set up tons of lessons and sections and however you want, but you can display it with a very simple menu. Or we can get a little bit more of a complicated menu. Here we have some sections and the lessons set up, basically like the original menu that you have in ClickFunnels, but just a little, uh, little, little sharper. Um, so again, we just uh, click on the links and you can walk right through the content. A third way of doing this is you'd probably actually start off with everything closed up. And again, you have your section headers, and then people can come in and click on it, and then go through and consume the materials. And a fourth way I want to show you using basically what amounts to uh, text menus. And um, this was supposed to be 100% width. I'm not sure what happened there. But um, so we just set up a basic menu like this. You can set it up so you got your, your section header and your lessons below it all written out so you can see it all the time. Or you could come in and you could have them have to click on the menu, have it drop down. And of course, as we click on it, the uh, content changes and the menu goes away. Or if you want to get really fancy, we can do a hover. So somebody can come in, hover on the content, and after they hover and click, the content, I'm sorry, the menu goes away. So another way we can set up our menus is by actually using by using uh, images instead of words. Now with an image like this, you probably wanna have some text on the image, infographic kind of thing saying what the content is, but we can have just a simple image and we can click on it and it can open up content here. Or we can have an image that you can click on just like a section header. Again, you probably have some text on here. So we could have a section header and that would open up and you click on it. And as soon as you click on it, the, uh, the little box disappears and your content appears. And here we have it so you can actually hover and click on multiple things before you hover out and it goes away again. So that's kind of a cool way of presenting the menu. Let's go one further. With this one here, if you click on an image, you see the uh, color changes, or actually becomes colorized, the black and white goes away, and the content changes. Well, if we click on one of these over here, it will actually open up a menu below it. And the same thing, so you got section one's content, you have section two's content, 
And then if we really wanted to, we can um, click on this picture, it becomes colorized, the section drops down, and again, you can change your content out. And last but not least, we'll go over here and point at Russell, and uh, you'll see another hover menu drop down, and you click on your buttons, and the content changes. And last but not least, it's actually kind of one of my favorites after I just built it the other day, is what I'm calling a blog format. And the whole page reloads. When, I, when I'm when i going to click on this, it's going to bounce around a little bit. You're not going to have that problem if you were to build this for yourself. The reason why is because I have so much other content above it, and it's all resizing as I click on the buttons. But it's very simple. You just uh, click on your links along the side, just like you would if you had a, had a blog. And um, each of uh, Stephen's blog posts uh, pop up right there. So it's a pretty slick way to uh, present your content. Now, in an earlier lesson, we had talked about this type of menu right here, where you can have images, and you just uh, are basically one big image along the side, and you just click on all the buttons, and you walk yourself through it. So that's now what? Probably... 10th, 12th variation of what we've seen as far as different menus and different ways of presenting menus. So now I want to just jump for a minute into different ways you can display content. And I thought that this was kind of a nice way to do it, especially if you're doing a product launch uh, where you, you generally have three, four, or five videos in your product launch. And you would, could just have it just across the top, content below. They go from one video to the next video to the next video, and I think that's a nice way of presenting the information. Similarly, uh, we can do, instead of side-by-side, side, we can do top-to-bottom. Nice thing about this is it gives you the opportunity to be able to put some text over here. You can even make this a clickable link that will open up the next lesson as well. And again, as we do this, the content changes and you see the picture goes from black and white to color. So again, another nice way of presenting the information. We got the slider at the top. The third way I wanted to show you is kind of a hybrid of what the last one was, is you could probably, especially if you had very short pieces of content here, maybe a small video, maybe just some information and some links to somewhere else, you could just create all of your content right here in one shot, just walk them through, boom, boom, here's, here's your lesson for the day, here's your um, success path. I thought that this type of a graphic would be really good if you had a success path that somebody was to walk through. I thought that would be a nice way of being able to present that. So the last thing I want to show you is a site that I built for a woman who is running for uh, the United States House of Representatives. And we needed to combine a ClickFunnels front page with a blog. And so I ran into problems immediately with a large menu that I had to have. Because how, how is that large menu going to show up inside of ClickFunnels, especially when you go to mobile? Anybody who's dealt with that in the past knows that there is no mobile function for a menu built into ClickFunnels. So I had to go and build myself that function. So we took this menu in the desktop version and when you shrink it down that's what the menu ends up looking like and if you click on it opens the menu right here on the page now you're gonna see I've had to blank out most of this just simply because of uh, privacy reasons because this is actually a live site so now this page right here we're looking at this is actually a click funnels page but now we go to press releases, that will take us inside of the blog. And again, what I did using the ClickFunnels plugin 
for WordPress, I was able to create a page, a standalone page with the menu on it, and then inserted that page into the blog. And that standalone page looks like this. And so that's, um, I thought that was a pretty, pretty slick way of getting it done. And I'm very, very glad. It's something I meant to do for probably at least a year to figure out how to do that menu. And well, it presented itself and I had to get it done. So that's it for today. I just wanted to show you a whole bunch of different ways that you could create menus inside of a membership site, showed you a couple of different ways to display content. And then um, I'm going to let you go for now. We've got one more video left. And what I want to talk about in that video is taking care of mobile for your membership sites. I got a couple of hacks to help you out with that. Also, I still want to show how to run multiple membership sites inside of one membership site. Plus, I got a couple other hacks that if I got time, I'm going to throw in there and just kind of tease you with a little bit. So for now, this is Dan Havey. I'm with CF Ninja Hacks. And if you want to get a hold of me, send me an email to support at cfninjahacks.com. And I will see you in the next video.